I'm like, so winded. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I was on a treadmill. Winded. Did you guys get that? I was on a treadmill. Yeah, yeah, it was, you, yeah no, you were booping the... the uh, yeah, it was pretty good scene work. Really adjusted all the speeds there. I yeah, that. I really am out of shape. I haven't worked out in a long time. Do you guys have any phobias uh, that Ooh. are genuine phobias? Like, And I would say the definition is... You know, not just being scared of something a lot or more than other people, but like phobia is a fear hmm. that uh, would uh, interfere with your ability to function in a, in a certain situation. Like if you're unable to go out on a balcony. Yeah. Um, I don't know that I have a phobia by definition. I've had a couple of uh, freak outs that I didn't when I didn't know uh, I had this sort of situation. Like, uh, one time we were shooting something and I, I had to wear a, uh, a space suit for this sketch that we were doing. And I put on a, uh, and they got it, for some reason, they got a real space suit from NASA, like a legit space suit with a helmet and everything. And I put the helmet on and it, you know, it screws on to the neck thing. And, uh, all of a sudden, I couldn't get it off, and nobody could get it off. Huh. And I had a fucking freak-out panic attack. Like, I was like, get it off, get it off, get it off, get it off, get it off. Like, and no, everyone's like, okay, just calm down, calm down. And, like, the thing, the, like, the visor was closed, and so it was, like, fogging up. And, you know, I just instantly thought, like, oh, I'm just going to run out of air. And I, I would have been fine if I had just relaxed, but, uh, so I had a major freak out. That's not a phobia though. No, because that was impending death. I guess I'm scared of spacesuits. <laughs> <laughs> or space. But, uh, Astronauts. Yeah. I, when I was a kid and we would play hide and go seek and stuff in the neighborhood, flashlight tag, I would, I was like, my strategy was I would find the, the creepiest, darkest tightest fucking place where any human being would never even look because it'd be like why would a person even fit in there or go in there and then i would just hang out in there until the game was over and come out victorious but like <laughs> i i and then at some point i wonder if puberty does it or if it's did i bring it up because another thing i used to do is just let bugs and shit crawl all over me Wow. But I think I know what happened there is like I was f so fascinated with bugs and spiders and stuff that my uh, aunt gave me for um, a Christmas gift um, a big Time Life book of um, big full color hardcover book full of the most um, poisonous spiders in the world and like these crazy like close up photography and like all these statistics about how fast they can crawl up your arm and go in your ear and stuff and like I think the book freaked me out made me start thinking of spiders as i think maybe Do i don't you, know though. so are you currently claustrophobic and terrified of spiders yes Okay. Yeah. So I don't know. Did it? Because we, we had a really funny prank we were gonna do <laughs> called with, coffin yeah, full of co spiders. Coffin full of spiders. <laughs> yeah. I mean, everyone's. I wonder about the, you know when it comes to being afraid of being locked in a coffin and buried alive. That's not a phobia. That's just. A, I think everybody. Yeah. <laughs> everyone has that fear, and it's not yeah. an irrational fear. Yeah. You should be afraid of that. You'd yeah. be. It'd be weird. It'd be a weird disorder if you were if you were into it. I ha I've I've done that. And yeah, again, that's not really a phobia, I guess. But one time, I sound like I shoot a lot of things. But we were uh, doing some pilot that didn't get picked up, and I was supposed to be dead. And uh, but they were shipping my body back home or something. So I, I was in a coffin, and uh, just for this one scene. But it was filled with coffee beans, so they covered me in coffee beans because they were like smuggling my body out of the country or something like that. So I had to lay in this coffin is they buried me in coffee beans like over my face and then they shut the coffin and i will say that was not cool like, jesus yeah that was pretty freaky good news is when that really happens you will be dead yes so you don't have to worry about it yeah unless you get buried alive on accident what do you mean you're still dead at that point you're like 15 minutes away from dead yeah yeah, yeah. the hor most horrible death what are you afraid of brandon um, the dentist. I cannot stand the dentist. Really? Yeah, I have to get all doped up. I have to get a car service. It's a nightmare. Really? I cannot stand the dentist. I didn't have it. It was because we have a funny prank planned what? for you. <laughs> what? <laughs> no. Called coffin full of dentists. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> Dressed as spiders. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> with coffee beans. Um, so do you just not go to the dentist? No, I go to the dentist all the time because I'm terrified. What do you mean all the time? I mean, I go to the dentist a lot. A lot. Yeah, too much. <laughs> too much. I'm currently dating my dentist. <laughs> <laughs> I, have a, I have a deep cleaning coming up. 
yeah. at Hollywood Dental. Ooh. Steve Levy booked me a dentist. And, Shout out, and, Hollywood uh, Dental. All your dental needs. Uh, the keys to the bathroom are on uh, little uh, Oscar trophies. Ugh. Does he have headshots of uh, like famous people? I, th- I, I think so. You, you'd think I would have looked at them. And, but... It, it, the whole place is just, it's themed after like fame. It's a fame yeah. themed dentist. Which a, I found a little tacky. That's a great theme. And I texted Levy as like, really Hollywood Hollywood <laughs> themed dentist place, and and he's like, it's got a really good reputation. <laughs> and it's like, well, yeah, that's really fancy. I mean, there's stars everywhere, and but I don't know. If, I, did you just read their press release or? I feel like the next sexual harassment thing the next wave is going to be in the dental world just because that seems like it would be so easy yeah you know all of your patients are asleep and certainly there are tons of stories of waking up and there's like a dick on your shoulder or right they're are. pointing at me like i did i didn't do that yeah there are no there are tons of those stories <laughs> i put my dick on the dentist's shoulder when well we had a wave of those yeah i mean 